morning, friends and loved ones. We gather here in New York Central Park this morning to celebrate the union of Mabry Elizabeth Ann Martin and Logan Eric Platt. We are here to witness the joining of two people and two families. This is not the beginning of a new relationship, but an acknowledgement of the next chapter in their lives together. And I see us walking in and leaving all the plans we've made. And we know there ain't no looking back. It might be hard, but we know love will make it up for us. We have all traveled together to this special place to honor the love that has grown between them and to offer our support as they begin their shared married life together. Mabry and Logan, as you stand here today ready to make your vows to one another, remember that marriage is a profound commitment, a commitment to love, honor, and cherish each other through all of life's joys and challenges. Logan and Mabry will mark their transition as a couple, not only by celebrating the love between the two of them, but also by celebrating the love between all of us, including the love of their parents, siblings, extended family, and best friends. Without that love, today would be far less meaningful. The love between the two of you is made more profound by the love and support of family and friends. Logan and Mabry, your relationship is nurtured by the love of those gathered here today, and it is with their encouragement and support that you take this next step forward. Logan and Mabry, please join hands. <laughs> Do you, Logan, take Mabry to be your lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish for as long as you both shall live? I do. Do you, Mabry, take Logan to be your lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish for as long as you both shall live. I do. Mm -hmm. Mabry and Logan have also chosen to write their own vows to one another. Logan, would you like to share your vows with Mabry? Mabry, I wanna say thank you Thank you for being my best friend for the past 13 years. Thank you for truly selflessly loving me for who I am. Thank you for seeing a better version of me than I could see at times. I vow to always strive to be the best version of myself for you. I, I promise to be your number one fan in everything you do and, and achieve in this life. I vow to be there patiently by your side whenever you can't decide what to order at a restaurant. <laughs> With all that being said, Mabry, I choose you. I want you to be nothing but yourself. I choose you. On the best days and the worst days, forever and always, I choose you. Logan, I must admit, writing, the idea of writing my vows to you quickly became frustrating for me. <laughs> Every time I wrote anything down, I realized there were no words that could describe how deeply I feel for you. The word love does not even scratch the surface of the magnitude of adoration I have for you. Because falling for you wasn't falling at all. It was like walking into a house and knowing I was home. Never in a million years could I have predicted that the goofy little 11 year old boy that was my first ever boyfriend <laughs> would one day grow up to be the man that I would marry. It has been almost 15 years of being best friends and 10 years of knowing that you are the love of my life. And now here we are at the beginning of our forever. You are my happiness, my sunshine, and my hurricane of hope in times when I don't think I can survive on solid ground. Your smile is how I want to start my days. Your kiss is how I want to end each night. Your arms are what I want to be wrapped in throughout the rest of my days. So, Logan Eric Platt, I promise to grow alongside you, but never grow up. I promise to always give our kisses in threes because one is never enough. I promise to dance with you in the kitchen until our legs fail us. I promise to join your laughter with my own. And when you can't look on the bright side, I'll sit with you in the dark. And lastly, I vow that when death does choose to take my hand, I will hold you with my other. 
And now, assuming the rings made it here, we we'll take those out. <laughs> a ring is an unbroken circle with ends that have been joined together, and it represents your union. It is a symbol of infinity and of your infinite love. When you look at these rings on your hands, be reminded of this moment, your commitment, and the love you now feel for each other. Logan, place the ring on Mabry's finger and repeat after me. Mabry, I give you this ring. Mabry, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. With the pledge to love you. With the pledge to love you. Today, tomorrow, always, and forever. Today, tomorrow, always, and forever. And now, Mabry, Logan, I give you this ring. Logan, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. With the pledge to love you. With the pledge to love you. Today, tomorrow, always, and forever. Today, tomorrow, always, and forever. By the power vested in me by a free internet service, <laughs> I now pronounce you husband and wife. Logan, you may kiss the bride. <laughs> Was it all in my head? 